All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Spank the Monkey back again with another unboxing video of Duskmorn House of Horror pre-release kit. So I hope you guys joined me in the earlier video where I opened up a play booster box. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Again, first time for me to open anything Duskmorn. I did not review the set, so I didn't know too much about it. Uh, but it looks like there are a couple of good cards here. I have not read through the comments or in comments at all. I don't know what works uh, with my uh, current commanders, um, commander decks, but I think there's some good cards that we've seen in, in the other uh, uh, video. And, and now I have a pre-release kit which came with two additional play boosters. And um, the play booster box I opened earlier came with a collector booster. I don't know why um, that was given to me by my LGS and a bio box. So, well, check out this bio box. It's Twitching Doll, a Spider Toy, Tutu Cast. And so tap, add one mana of any color, put a nest counter on Twitching Doll, and tap, sacrifice Twitching Doll, create a 2-2 two, two green spider creature token with reach for each counter on Twitching Doll. Activate only sorcery. So this Twitching Doll is actually, there's spiders in it. I guess that's, that's what they're trying to do. Okay, so this one will open up at the end. Um, and then we have these two packs and let's open up the PR kit. All right, so here we go. Um, in the, um, what do you call this? In the play booster box that we opened, we got uh, about seven mythics. So probably we'll see maybe two, three mythics here. Um, okay, so this is the box. Uh, it has these uh, punch out counters too. Okay. And this one over, locked, locked. Okay, I guess that's that's pretty much it. So I'll put this away there. Okay, and here we are for the play boosters. So this is, oop. Okay, so that die just fell and the die. Sorry, let me just get that. We have a seven, lucky seven. Okay. Okay, so let me put this down here. Uh, these PR kits are made in the US, I guess. So we have uh, six play boosters. Okay, I think there's a promo card here. We'll look at it later along with the collector booster. So we'll put that out of frame. Okay, and then we'll put the buy box over here. So Japanese packs and six uh, packs made in the... Oh, okay, so this is uh, made in the US. Cool. I think, yeah, made in the US. Okay, here we go. Uh, it comes with this thing. Uh, who is this? Is that Valgavoth? Like a moth, whatever. Okay, and okay, we get a sort of insert on uh, building a pre-release. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we'll put that away here. Put this away over there. Put that box away. So we'll do the US packs first and Japanese packs in the end. All right, good luck. And here we go. So six packs of goodness. All right. So since these are US packs, comments are up in front. Okay, anything good here? Let me guys know in the comments if there's any um, comments or uncommons that we go through. Again, I've not read um, anything about Duskmorn, so I really don't know if we're getting good stuff in the comment or uncommons. All right, so Razorkin, Horde Caller, Flood Pits Drowner, Keys to the House, Intruding Soul Rager. Under that, we have a rare Marina Vendrel's Grimoire. Okay, in the showcase version this time. So I got this in the Play Booster, uh, the regular pack version. I wonder if this has any value to it. Okay, so we'll put this over here. I put it here since it's a uh, special rare. Murky Sewer for land and uh, Vicious Clown and a art card. All right, here we go. <coughs> Apologies for that. Okay, pack number two, Hardened Escort. Uh, okay, Vicious Clown, Final Vengeance, Slavering Branch Snapper. Okay, this room and another room and a glimmer light. 
so, so for the uncommons, you have Arabella, break down the door. Set our Arabella. It costs too much to cast. Vile Mutilator, uh, Diversion Specialist. Then we have a rare, it would be Twitching Doll. Um, okay. So, oh, we, we got this earlier. Okay. This is also, oh, this is the buy box. Okay. So this one is just a regular rare. Um, and we have a land over there. And then, a, oh, we have a foil, say its name, and a treasure token. Okay. So nothing out of the ordinary. Unfortunately, we have a duplicate there with the buy box. Okay, moving on. Flesh Burrower, Unable to Scream, Fear of Immobility, Hand that Feeds, Innocuous Rat, Wary Watchdog, Good Boy, uh, Twist Reality, and Seize from Slumber to end the commons. Then you have Ethereal Armor, Reprint, Nowhere to Run. I think that's a pretty good card. Skull Snap, Nuisance. Uh, and for the rare, we have a Cursed Recording. Um, so what is this? For the cast artifact, every cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a time counter on Cursed Recording. If there are seven or more time counters on it, remove those counters and deals 20 damage to you. So tap when you cast your... When, when you next cast your instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Okay, so this is kind of like a... <clears throat> what do you call this? Uh, twinning, twinning staff, sort of. Uh, you have to tap it. But um, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, not necessarily copy, then you have a possibility of getting blown to bits by this thing. Okay. So I'll put that over here. Uh, borderless or extended art plane and then a foil uncommon oblivious bookworm and a creature token okay okay so I think that cursed recording is interesting uh, I do have a Calamax deck which really features a lot of uh, spell copying so that might be nice to have there we'll see <clears throat> okay fear of the dark bashful beastie Tunnel Surveyor, Emerge from the Cocoon, Frantic Strength, Glassworks Shattered Yard. Okay, uh, and comments here, Painter Studio, Defaced Gallery, Coordinated Clobbering. Oh, I think it's Tyvar and uh, Zimon. Uh, bottomless Pool, Locker Room. Uh, next, we have a rare. It is Peer Past the Veil. So, for the cast, do and gruel, discard your hand and draw X cards where X is the number of card types among cards in your graveyard. Uh, I don't know if that if that's a good card. Probably not. Okay, and then we have a foil lakeside shack and a foil frantic strength. Okay. Okay, um, so we're down to our last uh, two packs of the pre-release and then we still have two packs more from the um whatchamacallit <clears throat> from the bonus packs given by the uh lgs okay, vanish from sight living phone scorching dragonfire winter's intervention cryptid inspector anthropede murder okay for the uncommons we have a smoky lounge misty salon Wicker Folk Thresher, uh, Defied, Defiled Crypt, and Cadaver Lab. And then for Uncommon, Untimely Malfunction. Come on, let's get a Mythic. Just one Mythic, right? It's a rare. We have a Rip Spawn Hunter. So it's a Legendary Human Survivor. Two and... Uh, shucks. Uh, uh, forest and... Uh, sorry. Green and White which is, gosh, I, I forget those combinations. Survival, beginning of your second main phase, if RIP is tapped, reveal top X cards of your library where X is power. Put any number of creature and or vehicle cards with different powers among them into your hand. Put the rest of your library in a random order. Okay. Um, so this one over here, nothing special there. Foil, 
and glimmer. Okay, so last pack of the um, pre-release kit. Sort of ho-hum, but we did get this uh, showcase Marina Vendrel Grimoire. Uh, but, and, and at Chris recording, I don't know if that, that's any good. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, don't make a sound. Jump scare. That is a scary face. There you go. Uh, ragged playmate, fear of lost teeth. Do you ever have those dreams where you lose teeth? No, I don't. But that's kind of gross. Okay, Lionheart Glimmer to start up the uncommons. Blade, dashing bloodsucker. Should call it the Daywalker. Paranormal analyst. And under the skin. Um, to end the uncommons, then we have a mythic. At least we have one mythic, right? It would be Overlord of the Flood Pits. Nice. Okay, so there's an Overlord cycle here. And this one I don't, I don't have. So it's five to cast. After horror, impending, uh, flying whenever Overlord Flood Pits enters or attacks, draw two cards and discard a card. All right. Nice. Okay, so we'll put that mythic over here. Sorry, let's put that mythic over here okay mountain and then a common um yeah spectral snatcher and a spider token okay now we go to the japanese packs can we hit one more mythic let's do it let's do it okay beast foil shrewd storyteller then for the land we have uh, Murky Sewer. Mythic number two. No, it's a rare. But it is Demonic Council in the showcase art. So we did get this already. It's like Demonic Tutor. Unless you had, you know, uh, but you have to have four or more card types in your graveyard to, to have that Delirium. Okay, so I'll put that over here. Fear of Burning Alive. Optimistic Scavenger. Right of the Moth. Fear of Imposters. Okay. And then here are the common cards. Let me know in the comment section if, if I hit any good common or uncommon cards. I always love those uh, <clears throat> cards. Okay, uh, so last pack we have, okay, like the Ghostbuster thing. Um, all right, Twist Reality and Foil for the common. And then we have a land card, uh, border, uh, not borderless, but extended art. Okay, uh, so we'll put that over here. Mythic number two. No, it's a rare, and it is a, ooh, it's a um, borderless roaring furnace steaming sauna. So this is a a uh, enchantment room. Um, so for roaring furnace, when you unlock the store, this room deals damage equal to the number of cards in your hand to target creature and opponent controls. Okay, and then steaming sauna for a five. You have no maximum hand at the beginning of your end step. Draw a card. So it's like uh, wow, I, I, that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So you have this in the in, on the battlefield. You can deal damage to a creature, and then you can um, draw a card at your end step. That is nice. I like that. Okay, I think that that's pretty okay. Okay, uh, commons here, and then uh, sorry, uncommons, and then commons. All right. <clears throat> so I think we have the PR kit sort of promo card, uh, and that would be that well, one be just open the thing. see what we get this would be a Chanak. enduring vitality nice so it's uh, one of those enduring cards which is actually I think a pretty good card and we got this nice um, PR promo card nice okay cool so extra special rare there okay with one mythic here we go and then the star of the show is this Lonesome Collector Booster. Okay, thank you to my LGS for uh, s allowing us to score uh, on this Collector Booster. But uh, these things are quite hard to open if I recall. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Are these made in Japan? Uh, made in the US. Okay, so we'll start from the top. And we get the goodies in the last. Okay. Here we go. So. Okay. Uh, 
slight bending. Hope it won't be a problem. So fear of the dark and foil. Yeah, let me know if I'm hitting any good common or common cards. I do love having value in, in that slot. Say its name and foil. Strangled Cemetery. Okay, Clockwork Percussionist. Uh, Ruckus Carnival. Live or Die. Yeah, uncommon here. Vile Mutilator. Seven to cast. Uncommon, that's crazy. Okay. Overpowered in common for sure. Killer's Mask. All right. And then we have an Insidious Fungus in Foil Showcase. Nice looking. One to cast. Green. Pay two. Sacrifice. Choose one. Destroy target artifact. Target enchantment. Draw a card. Then put a land card from your hand on the battlefield tap. Eh, not bad. Okay. And then we have that land card um, in... Uh, 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 extend art foil. Okay, first up we have for a rare foil ghost vacuum. All right, so it's the Ghostbusters proton pack thing. Want to cast artifact, tap exile target card from a graveyard, pay six, sacrifice ghost vacuum, put a creature card exiled with ghost vacuum on the battlefield under your control with a flying counter on it. Each of them is a 1 1 spirit in addition to its other types. Activate only as a sorcery. Yeah, so sort of within the theme of Ghostbusters. Next, we have a rare. This would be probably a uh, extended art or borderless non-foil. That would be a Deluge of Doom. Uh, so this is a three to cast sorcery. All creatures get X minus X until end of turn, where X is number of card types among cards in your graveyard. So kind of like a Toxic Deluge. Okay, but it's Deluge of Doom, um, sort of following Delirium. Okay. Uh, next would be another rare. I think this might be in showcase art. Balustrade Worm. Ah, we got this already twice in the play booster box earlier. Can't say that this is a strong card, but you know, I wish we could we could have gotten a better card than this. But this is the showcase art. So, yeah. Next, another rare. Oh, we're not hitting any mythics. Leyline of Mutation. Okay, so we did get this also. I think this is not a very good mute, mute, uh, Leyline for me. I don't have any Wooberg uh, decks, but I don't know. Someone might need this. Okay, last chance for a Mythic. Okay, yeah, we have a No, it's a rare, unfortunately. Foil. Maria Marina Vendril's Grimoire. Again, we got this already in Showcase, but non-foil. And that's it. Okay, thanks everyone for joining me on this unboxing. But before that, uh, we did get what was that? A uh, I don't know which card it was that makes um, token lands, and this is the token foil for that uh, particular card. Very nice. I don't know. Is there any value in this? Maybe. Okay, so that's it. Um, just a quick one. We got one mythic. Unfortunately, we didn't get any mythics on the um, on the uh, uh, collector booster. Uh, and, but we did get this overlord, uh, this cursed recording, and then uh, another card from the enduring vitality plus uh, a couple of rooms. And this uh, foil showcase marina vendrell good more. So I don't know yet what value this might bring. Again, you can see here some duplicates there. But anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Will let me know if you like Duskmorn, uh, um, and, and and if you know maybe I should open a couple of more product. Just let me know in the comments. Until then, take care, guys, and I'll see you. Bye bye.